There we go. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... He is a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Eva Lands 2 for our fourth stream of this. And uh, yeah, we've been making some progress. Uh, first of all, we got stuck in a sort of not uh, what steampunkish future, where apparently the demons and uh, Fina's village had been completely eradicated. And uh, yeah, we need to go find another Magilith and get the hell out of here. See if we can change time. Uh, let's see. I think we were supposed to. We were about to bring back the book. So, or bring over the book. Let's see, 50 ghost stories. Oh, you brought us a book. Let's see here. You would give this to someone in <laughs> to some innocent girls. Then again, it'll come in handy when we're older. You basically kept your promise. So here, this is for you. Okay. Okay, a star. Yeah, so so often in the older RPG games and such, you can make promises and just completely not <laughs> fulfill them at all. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they, I, I can't do it. Like, I'm a person with... Uh, you, you, I think you heard me many times say, I, I will not do an empty promise. Hmm. Uh, that's for... A promise and oversight is very important to me, so I will not make a promise over something being pointless. But I will get annoyed when people keep making promises that they never keep. And this when... translates to gaming as well. <laughs> when I was little, I'd always go hide in the sewers with my friends. It was full of rats and other disgusting stuff, but man, did we have a good time. But ever since the Great Disaster, I just don't enjoy life anymore. Can we actually go back down? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Our family has been poor for generations. But at least before, we could see the sun. Now everything uses smog, the smoke <laughs> blocks out the sun, and everyone's getting sick. And traders are the only ones getting richer. What do we get out of it, huh? I worry about my daughter's future. Mommy worries a lot. Are all adults like that? No, but they have good reason to, since, well, they're poisoning the planet, and, well, all the... all the resources are going towards the traders, and none of it is trickling back down. Yeah... Bloody heck. Now, let's see... Basically, nothing changed, really. Or sort of. Because it's just a different person who is the richer now. Yeah. Now, so let's rich see. Rich noble is rich merchant. There was another reason we were to... Actually, yeah, we, we were going... No. We went to the library last time, solved a bunch of puzzles, very <laughs> Professor Layton like. And yeah, from that we learned the position of a Magilith on the Pirate's Isle, or now the Cursed Isle. It, it is a week between these recordings, so some stuff does get lost. Let's actually continue. Is there anything to see here? No. Okay. Oh yeah, to get to the, for the Cursed Isle, we'll need a boat. We have a nice little tune. Yeah, it, it looks nicer too. Yeah, no less, <laughs> less smug. To be a sailor's wife, you have to learn patience. And then avoid yeah, worrying too much. Especially with all those tales people tell about the Cursed Isle. It's, she, it's, this makes very true, especially during... Well, early in history, actually, probably it's still today, uh, wives of sailors uh, had to be very patient and, of course, some were sick, as I want to learn to tamper it, but still. Yeah, since uh, journeys by sea could take months to years. It's... But that also dangerous. Yeah. Moving crates and barrels around all day is exhausting, but it pays good. Let's see. 
Sailors are real superstitious. Just listen to them talk about the Cursed Isle. They think the ghost of the dreaded pirate robbers lives there. Nobody knows if he even existed, so his ghost? Everyone here is smart enough to lock their doors, it seems. The, the lusty pirate in you feels sad. <laughs> A bit. That latest storm caused more flooding. It's getting worse every year. If it, it, if it keeps up like this, the harbor will be swallowed up by the sea. Sailors are real super... Uh, wait, we already talked to you. I was looking for the other sailor who was going back and forth up here. Is that you? Phew. Finally a bit of rest. The captain works us to the bone, but being a sailor is a calling. The open sea, exploring the unknown, adventure with a capital A, my <laughs> friend. If only there wasn't all these planks to scrub, sails to furl, ring to repair. Life isn't all peaches and cream out at sea, but things are even worse on land. Well, at least the captain isn't around to keep tabs on us. Okay, let's go have a chat with this captain, and then I think I know who the captain is. I came yeah, to board the no. ship. But the captain refused to leave. May the wrath of the great destroyer strike him down. Uh, well, once we've arrived, I mean. I'd rather nothing happen on the way there. Yeah, <laughs> careful with your curses, dumbass. Or you'll find yourself on the thing you cursed when it gets struck. If you want to set sail, you have to ask the captain. He's the one who decides when we leave and where, we, where we're headed. Let's see. There'll be no leaving the harbor for now. Got a bad feeling. I'm almost always... And I'm almost always right. It must be the ghost of that infamous pirate Roberts. That island of the coast's cursed, I tell you. If you want to sail, go and get a force majeure letter from someone in the Council of Traders. Till then, I won't budge. You should be able to score one in Genova if you look around. But it'll cost you a pretty penny. Traders aren't known to give stuff away. Okay. So now we have to head back, find someone to probably bribe into getting that <laughs> letter. But before that, we'll have to find some way to make money. Yeah, and obviously there's... A gut feeling is probably one of the many important things a captain needs, even even today. Yeah. Okay. For this, we'll probably have to head straight up to the Council of Traders, I believe, that was there. Let's see. Have you ever been to the Emperor's... Hmm. The Council of Traders operates from most of the Traders at Palace. Okay, we'll have to use... We'll have to talk to uh, Mr. Mudwell to get in then, I'm guessing. Because I doubt they would just accept an audience from anyone from the street. So that was here, yep. Bit of a skip in the music. Let's see. Um, let's see. So you're looking to get to the Cursed Isle? It's a weird place. I wouldn't go near it if I were you. But hey, it's your call. The Force Majeure letter signed by me is all you need to set sail. Okay. <clears throat> I, I thought we talked with him about a boat already, but apparently not. Naturally, it'll cost you. If you have something interesting to trade... Uh Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Why, that's one of my grandfather's badges. I thought they'd all been lost in the Great Disaster. Their value is strictly sentimental. Please, give it to me in exchange for a pass of safe conduct. Okay, so that's where that was useful for. <laughs> Thank you. As promised, here you go. Okay, that probably saved us a lot of money. Captain Stubbing will welcome you aboard with a smile. <laughs> Okay. Wanna bet on how wanna bet on how quickly we'll sink? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure we're going to get sunk. Or at the very least kicked off the boat. Since is that true? Yeah, since it tends to happen a lot. Also, if I'm sounding tired, that's because I'm I, I am. 
<clears throat> he sort of he, he woke up at nine, but then again fell asleep until now. It's the turn. Or rather, he, 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 or rather, you've been awake for like an hour or less. Yeah. Okay, now we give him the pass of safe conduct. Well, F it. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. I've got a bad feeling about this trip. Well, where exactly did you want to go? What? <laughs> you want to go to the Cursed Isle? Isn't it just my lucky day? Fair warning, there's no way we're docking there. You can get off in a rowboat and board again after. And I won't wait for you more than an hour. If you don't come back alive, that's your problem. Have I made myself clear? Yes. Okay. One hour? So, do you want to leave now? Yes. Alright then, let's go. <clears throat> okay, let's see what's actually all about this stupid island. So this is the cursed isle? Looks rather nice. I should have brought my bathing suit. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look evil and all that. Let's see, there's definitely going to be something with this. There must be major ruin... Uh, uh, these must be the, the major ruins the Dean spoke of at the library. But where has the Magilith gone? I hope it isn't buried under all the sands. Solid snail. Might you know how to dig it out? Hmm. Probably has something to do with these. Well, we could use uh, the big guy as a brush. Or that. Or that. Let's see. Do we need to punch these in or something? Oh, that's a bigger <laughs> form of the icon. It looks a bit like the Sheikah eye with more things at the top. Okay. What is with the bowl? Anything we can find around here? Oh, I see. Need. We need some milk and cereals. Uh, now I'm reminded of that. Oh, there's a, there's a staircase up there. I'm reminded of that uh, Friday Night Funking uh, uh, game and the Sonic EXE mod, because one of the joke mo uh, songs that they have in that is called Milk and Cereal. Can we cut that down? Is that an actual song? Not sure. Uh, but it was a... They used a remix of something, I think. Not entirely sure. Do we... No. Hmm. Okay, do we need to light that up somehow? We don't have any magic that would be of use for that. Hmm. Also, I, I, like, I like the tunes that the game has. Like, there aren't too many... Oh, we just interact with that. See that, Goggles? Doesn't that eye symbol remind you of something? The Dean told us about something called the Stone of Time. Now, where could it be? Yeah, we were also told of that. I forget who was said to hold it. Or if it was said... Actually, I, th I think it was last seen on this island or something. Hmm. Hmm. A little bit here. It's crates with fresh melons and pumpkin. Yeah, apparently people are still visiting here, or who <laughs> just stays good really long here. Yeah, hmm. but I would expect that those fruit, uh, well, just all that fruit to come. All... Actually, yeah, they probably been gone by now.
Do we need to hit Plus, this? It's been so long that it's been started growing from their own boxes. Can't go up there. Let's see, do we have anything that could be? No, we have nothing that could be that stone. Can we even go back or are we stuck here? Okay, can we go back to the ship now? Yeah, quickly now before the ghost comes and calls us up. Hmm. I don't know where this stone might be. If it is even here or, or if it is somewhere else that we need to go. But there isn't really much else that we could go with. Hold on a second. Could this, The thing that the witch is sitting on top of, is that the stone of time maybe? It looked more like a mana stone. I don't know, could it be in a barrel? Hmm. Let's, let, let's go have a chat with her, see if she knows anything. And if not, then I might have to look up where the hell this stone is, because I have no clue at all. Yeah, that is one of the drawbacks of playing this game only once a week. A lot of info is likely to get lost. Okay. Okay, she has nothing to say. We have yeah. both potions. And then potions. she's just sitting in a ball of mana. Then where could we go find this stone? I don't think we've been this way. I think the reason we are there is to find the damn stone. Okay, this is new. The great destroyers will punish you all. You look somewhat important. <laughs> Not even going. To... Oh, what did I do on. to deserve such in such nimbusols? <laughs> well, will no one open this for me? We sent for someone, venerable prophet. Nay, <laughs> how dare you make me language here? Ah, finally. One of these days I'll have to change that mechanism. But it isn't the surest... But it's the surest way to protect my precious... My very precious... Oh, hello, Stone of Time. Okay, good thing that we checked over this way, then. They're just quaking in their boots. Their very, yeah. very tiny boots. And also... Did I really sneak in... Knee? Yeah, like Monty Python, the knights who say knee. What's... It's... <laughs> <laughs> Don't even try to scale the pyramids. It's so slippery, even the famed ninja scrolls never made it to the top. To get inside, you need to reach it by air. But without wings, it cannot be done. When humans fly, as they say... When pigs fly... I doubt these two are going to let me in. Entrance to the Great Pyramid is restricted. Only the Prophet and the Eldest Disciples may go in. And there's no point searching for the key, the door only opens from the inside. Which can be problematic at times, actually. Just the other day, the Prophet was locked out because of a sudden draft. It took a whole week to force the door open and it had to be replaced. The Prophet proclaimed drafts to be a sign of the world's annihilation. Uh, see that beautiful pyramid? We're the ones who built it. It required lots of hard work, but when water covers everything, we'll be able to take shelter in there. Still, a slight detail has been niggling me. Do you think it'll float? <laughs> I don't think so. You're going to become mermaids. <laughs> Even that... I came here to become a disciple, but novice training is really difficult. We have to master quite a few skills. I'm not sure I'll make it. Do we have to go through another set of trials? The number five has always intrigued me. I mean, really, it's a special number, don't you think? It pops up everywhere. The story of the five little pigs, the tale of the five musketeers, isn't it for them? And, of course, the five keys to be collected by the Great Destroyer before annihilating the world. 
the strangest strange can be, why five? I, I think it's supposed to be four musketeers, or no. three, no, three musketeers even. Yeah, it's three musketeers. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking of an old cartoon uh, called uh, Alfred the Fourth Musketeer or something. Or no, it was just called Alfred's, who was, well, the for a fourth musketeer and the only actual competent one. Right. Wasn't that... I mean, I don't want to know something called Alfred and the End of the Three Musketeers. Or something like that. Uh, could be that. A uh, blonde little guy? I think so. I know it was a, a sideshow by some characters in animal costumes that was on Cotton Network for a while. Which they actually made a horror movie due to. It was supposed to have been a flat movie, but due to difficulties, they just got lost the license to it and just made it to the, one of the older shows instead as a horror movie. Okay. I forgot the show's name, but just so weird. The characters I... never told just. Ran around and screamed. Okay, I don't think we're thinking of the same same thing then. But that movie, I think you mean uh, Willy's Wonderland or something? Unsure. Is... Wait, wait. Is it, it, it he did the guy just keep uh, keep forget his name? Screaming bees, not the bees. Uh, I think that is him. Yeah, Nick. Is that Nicolas okay. Cage? I forget always. Okay, it's not that movie. The one talking about came before that one. Uh, I'm too tired to just figure it out then. Let's see. I've always dreamed of touching the stone of time. But only the prophet has this honor. Our greatest treasure kept safely atop the pyramids. Do you think that by touching one can communicate with the great destroyer? Hello? You want to take the novice test? Uh, yeah, let's go. Fine. Listen carefully to my question and choose the correct answer. The Great Disaster was the first omen of the world's annihilation. What will the second be? Uh... Plague of Locusts? That is incorrect. It would seem your education is incomplete. Go back and study the Holy World of Peter. You can always seek advice from other disciples. Come back when you have... Hmm... Okay, do you want... Oh, are all of you just going to say the same things? Yes. Okay... Then we missed something somewhere. We you know it's... there will be a flood. But did he say when the flood would be? Uh, okay, flood is the correct answer. That's why we built the pyramids. That way we'll be able to survive when water uh, covers the world. The novice training isn't over yet. Speak to the other professors to continue the test. Okay, so each of these have... So at least we don't have to do them all at once. Yes, fine, listen carefully. Before destroying the world, the great disaster must first do something. What is it? <laughs> Ryan to 70, reach a power level of 9,000, collect the five keys. Collect the five? There's surely okay. a hidden meaning to the keys, but the prophet is unequivocally uh, unequivocal when it comes to the number five. Okay. Isn't over yet. This is easy. Yes. And carefully. The great eye that symbolizes the great destroyer. It is etched into our most precious treasure. What is this treasure? <laughs> A one-up mushroom, really? <laughs> Triforce, Excalibur, the Stone of Time. Well done. Indeed, the Stone of Time is kept at the very top of the pyramids. The prophet discovered it near the smog shortly after the great disaster. Congratulations, you passed the novice test, but that's only the first step. To become a disciple, you need to go to Windy Valley and then climb Mount Alpha. Okay. Atop Mount Alpha, you have to spend an entire day meditating before our symbol, the Great Eye. Only then will you be ready to become a disciple. Okay, so we need, we know what we need and where we need it, but now we just need to side quest a lot to, uh, well, actually get the thing that we need. Yeah, you just, you just been to the island a, a little bit too early. Yeah. Okay, but at least it told us where to go, or what to get at the very least. Hmm. Yep. 
and I go, ooh, grab some ice cream. Okay. So at panic. least this world, at least this world isn't too big that we can't that we need to go look all over the place for where to continue. Now then. I believe this is the mountain. No, that's the bluff. Oh wait, there was another mountain. Um Yeah, south with also a cloud. Is that this one? No. Hmm. Let's see, south of this place? No. Um. Ah, right. We should be able to get to another area through the mountain, I think. Um. I think. I find it a bit doubtful. No, there's only the broken magilith here. How do we get to the windy uh, to the windy valley then? Hmm. So I'm pretty sure that was southwards, but that's past the smug. Is there any way to get across? Wait, you're not trying to just go into the mountain directly from there? Yeah, the, the, if we could get in, then a pop-up should have appeared. Or pop-up of text. Hmm. And yeah, we can, we can see the damn eye right at the top there. Or the stone. Hmm. I still don't know who that was here, but I was thinking earlier that probably would not be that I would it? That would be a bit uh, too in the face, but nope. Here we are. Okay. Hasn't much in this game been rather in, in one's face? Um, at points, but not overall. Okay, how do we get... Hmm. I'm just going to look this up quickly because I've completely forgotten where slash how. Let's see, Windy Are Valley. We been to Windy Valley. Now we passed through there, I believe. Let's see. Notice ahead of that. Hmm. Let's see, okay, this, I found a video that seems to be about at the same place where we are. Okay, where do we need to go? Uh, really? Hmm? Okay. It is down here, only it's right here. You'd, you'd think you would go for the, the mountain, but instead it's right next to it. That's... That's a bit of bad design, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, hello. He who sought to fly like the wind, unknown inventor, B943, T, uh, bur, 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 born 1943, in nine, 900. Death or died 1012. Okay, so they were. <laughs> they were almost 90 years old, okay. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hmm? They knew when he was born and died, but not his name? Uh, I guess, but what they probably just named him the idiot who thought to fly. I know you. Long time no see. What are you doing here, then? We call this place Windy Valley, but the Wind Guardian hasn't been seen here in ages. One guy actually tried to get the wind going again, but he died in the attempt. Anyway, as you know, none of that really matters. Do we actually know you? I don't remember. Atop Mount Alpha, you'll find an old temple dedicated to the Great Destroyer. 
There's also an old rusted out doohickey in the corner. It looks like some winged machine. Weird, huh? I wonder what it is meant to do. Access to the top of Mount Alpha is restricted to those apprentices who pass novice training in order to become the disciples of the Prophet. If you have not passed, you shall not pass. Oh, you're that new novice? I was told you'd be coming to finish your training. Gandalf reference. Watch yourself. Climbing Mount Alpha is most perilous. After all, we have little use for weak disciples. Only the best among us will earn their place in the world post-annihilation. Yeah, and among the best they mean just the, the, the first idiots and whoever bribes their way in. And now we're doing side-scrolling jump <laughs> platforming. Oh dear. I thought so. Bouncy mushroom. Okay. Those things are just invulnerable. Let's see then. Gotta give this a shove. Or, or break it. Now I'm curious. What would happen if you eat the bouncy mushroom? Mm, probably little goods. But you're the closest thing we have to a mushroom connoisseur. So you could eat it and we see if we can you will stop bouncing? Okay. That was not supposed to happen. Uh, okay. Some green goop. Yep. Almost fell into the sharp spikes down there. Let's see. Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Level up as we bounce around. Okay, finally a health upgrade again. Anything? Oh. So the spike, the spikes are just instant death, huh? What they usually are. Yeah. Okay. At least in the older games, at least. Yeah, like Mega Man and such. Okay. Break this again. Oh, oh! It actually topples these little guys as well. Can I still find it for me? I played some Nintendo 8 bit games when I was younger, but I haven't become a real, real like, gamer yet since. Yeah, I think I told you actually, yeah. But I think it was been a while I said that. I always been bad with platformers, and most Nintendo 8 bit games were just that. Yeah. I was a horrible with race games as such in general as well, but still. You oh oh yeah, got it. Uh, okay, gotta be very careful with the platforming here. Then it seems so. It's a good thing that they put this save point right here. Yeah, the they, they knew it's needed here. That basically makes it a good design. Yeah. Okay. Here we go again. We can jump on that one. I... Apparently not. Well, we could, but I just missed. La I <laughs> completely messed up the landing. Okay. There. And there. Wait with this one. And go. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's a stone that fades in and out. Okay. Adding that to the mix as well, then. Ooh. Yep. 
Come on, get out of this. Come on. I feel like you should have at this point, I don't know when they release this. Fix this? Yeah. If oh. Oh. Uh, what? It, you can see it on one of the crystals there. This this actually gives a bit of a bit of light. But it's, can we get ourselves free like this? Yeah, but everything is the all moment when something's even the developers have problem fixing. Yeah. Okay, we're just stuck there. So we'll just have to jump back to the previous. Of course, the game goes full screen again on this. Okay. Okay, come on. Go into Windows. Come on, game. There we go. Okay, it looks to me like the edges of the the edges of the mushrooms are a bit iffy. So let's try to land more towards the center of them. There's something there. Let's see a star. No <clears throat> oh, mana. Okay, we can give that to oh, Fina. No. Okay. Disappearing stones, easy enough. Yep, no. You're, you throw. Okay, you throw your spores up. Alright. Almost went into the spikes. Let's see. Yeah, the, these sh <laughs> these energy strikes, they do give up a bit of a glow to whatever they're passing by. There. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. There's that chest there, so let's go make a grab for that. Okay. There, there. Oop. There. Jump. Uh, <laughs> okay. That was my own fault for trying to get off the uh, the flashing stone. Oh, bloody heck. Okay, take two. There. Hmm. Okay, I don't trust that it flashes that fast. And I just walk over it in one go. Okay, only a star. Uh, really? Okay, since it's just a star, we can just skip it. I think you keep the star. I think. We'll see if the chest is open or closed. Either way, it's not too important, so we can just move on. Let's hopefully it's not important. Now, I believe they are just for extra stuff. And let's see, is it open? Oh, yeah, the chest is gone, so we did keep the star. else in around here or just move our way up Oop, another level okay a bit of attack 
Okay, a bit of everything. Save points. Uh, <laughs> Clara laughed. Oh, you are an archaeologist as well? Ever since I was a little girl, I've dreamt of unearthing a certain magi secret. It's something called the Anomaly. If I locate the Anomaly someday, I'll be internationally recognized. But seeing as I don't know what it looks like, for now all I can do is search. Do I even need to say the reference? Yeah, and I said this, even looking at the head. Yeah. Tiger in shape, it's really obvious. Okay, now we're getting to one of these real disappearing platform puzzles. Or not really puzzles. Okay. At least there's no nothing for us to fall into. Up down and then across. Up. Hmm. Okay, th these are always a bit annoying since you need to trial and error quite a bit to actually get through. Yeah, I recall playing some games that had them and I... Oh, and I hate them. Okay, I can see the path now. And I immediately fall off. <laughs> okay, we have like... A second or so before the previous platform vanishes. There, there. Yep, damn it. Okay. Okay, back, forwards, and out of here. There we go. Oop. Okay. Wait, was there a chest there? Oh, ah, there it is. Let's see. Okay, Oricon War. So now we have four, so we can get the sword made. Nice! <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. These things just having fun. That put in sheer terror. Good, they actually have an eye underneath. And I. I thought I saw two. Now, I think I saw just only one up. Oh, come on. Now we're starting with the actual peril underneath these. Okay. There. Jump over. There. Okay, at least I'm being generous with those. Ooh. Very generous with the save points here. Yeah, for other games that were heavily on these things in that era, yeah, were not. We're, yeah. Oop, chest. Uh, hmm. Oh, hold on. Weren't there those blocks below? Oh. Okay, now that they're back, <laughs> being acknowledged again, they start bouncing. Okay, there. And that is how we get this one for some red goop. Not really useful, but oh well. Oh well, useful in one way, but we're, <laughs> we're surrounded by instant kill spikes, so we're not going to be making use of uh, health potions. Oh, there's that symbol. And that save point. Let's see. Okay, there's that thing. Okay. 
Let's see then. It's just a teasing us? What are these? Hmm. Okay. Goggles, don't tell me. I don't think this is such a good idea. Yeah, because we, we were told that the only other way into the pyramid was to come in from the air, huh? For once, I agree wholeheartedly with Miss Fina. This device looks... Dangerous. There must be another way to access the pyramid. Yes, another way. <laughs> of course. That is what we find. Now, the only other way is to get in through the front door, which means spending a month up here. And I'm pretty sure you two will have killed each other within the first week. I... I must admit, I know of no other way. Oh no, <laughs> Menos. <laughs> Help me. I really don't want to fly. Well, not in that machine, anyhow. I... I could maybe give it a shot. But it's only to make you happy, Goggles. <laughs> hey. So wait, this thing's actually basically just an air scooter. Nope. Oh, shoot him up mode. Welcome to the wonderful world of raining bullets. Okay. These kind of games are very able to handle somewhat, but then again... They can be very overwhelming. Yeah, but they either easy or overwhelming. Okay, experience not... gets picked up from much further. Oh, okay. you're not doing too much, you know, just evade shoot, evade shoot. Yeah, some games do add more to it. Like, there was a specific one uh, where you had to swap colors to be able to get through certain attacks. Because there would be just too much on screen to be actually able to dodge everything. Yeah, and of course there was some power-ups, but... Yeah, they were just there to help you kill faster. Or more. See? I'm guessing this attack is actually just goggles <laughs> swinging like absolute mats. Most likely. At least this isn't a one hit kill scenario. That would be annoying as. Egg. It looks like those power-ups are only temporary. Oh, hello! I, I only now just noticed that the that the attack bar actually still fills up. Okay, that is pretty cool. What? Pumpkins. Yeah, Minos acts like a bomb. Okay. Yep. Level up. Okay, just some attack. Oh god. I would say they are a bit too creative with some of the mobs here. Hmm. Unless they're pumpkins. I don't know what these balls with wings are. There's some sort of beetles or something. Okay, is that it? Nope. Bibles. Oh, I did say we were created with pumpkins and... Well, 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 yeah. they... I, I, I seen flying fruit plants before, but this is the first pumpkin variant of a... helicopter plant I've seen. Before, uh, seen. Just, again, first time I see a pumpkin version of it. Okay, we can just go fully around him to avoid that attack. Oh. 
Nope. Completely waste the charge attack there. Come on! <laughs> Don't tell me we have to we have to do all of that again. Okay, luckily enough. Luckily? And luckily enough, we don't have to redo the entire thing, just the boss fight. Just, you just, you sound like you said, gockily, I want your sweat. What? Okay. Okay, let's get rid of the sideshow. There we go, give me that. Oh, yeah, this time you defeat him, them like nothing. Yeah, now that I actually knew I could go around him. Uh, anything more? Oh, apparently. Uh, dude looks like in... Uh, are we getting like space and we're getting... Tentamons. We're getting space invaders here. Only you... oh, they're no, not moving down. Really. You only now know the Space Invader reference, this whole thing. Yeah, not the entire thing. And yeah, in, I just noticed in the lower right it shows us the power-up. And yeah, they do decay over time. I do find it a bit annoying that these power-ups are only temporary. Typically they stay until you die or get get hit or something. Or get another power-up that either causes it out or just adds to it. Actually, yeah, some of these Metroid... Uh, no, not Metroid. Space Invaders with Space Invaders likes. Sometimes really went nuts with the attacks. Like, you know, still you're shooting, but... Yeah, but this is an entire barrage you could end up doing. Let me it's off screen already. Okay, come on. This is going on a little bit too long now. Yeah. It is. It, it actually made me yawn. And I'm supposed to be the tired one here. Yeah. <laughs> level three. Oh, another level. This is... It is good for this, though. Now, I wonder if the level up stuff is predetermined or randomized. Because you do have that in some games, like Fire Emblem, where the stat increases can be completely random, I believe. I think that can be turned off, but yeah, it can be quite a gamble if that is on. That sounds very dumb, actually, for me. Okay. I'm guessing we'll face another boss, and that'll be that. Hopefully. Yep. Saku. No. I think that Saksu. What the heck is that what the heck is supposed to be? Not sure. Look is it is it like a fly above the flash and mimic a hermit crab? 
Yes. Okay, come on, let that be the last part of this. And of course, I used that used to be in the right still so I saw yesterday. Oh, come on. A hermit crab that used a baby doll's head as a home. Yeah, totally not creepy. Yeah, no, for some reason, you could just keep calling the baby doll head as a Barbie doll. Yeah, no. Yeah, it. Why do you still call it a Barbie doll? I have no idea. But it was an entire baby doll head. Clicks or something because Barbie is a lot more well known. Uh, no, 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 Clicks says it was not in the title, it was in the middle of the video. Yeah, he kept calling it that for some reason. I uh, think it might just be case of he just have a bit of a dirt moment. And th these things are just recolored bombs from Dragon Quest. I'm pretty sure. I would not be surprised. This this part is really just dragging on now. Get rid of the front line. Yeah, do at the same time. I think you should have expected this. Yeah, uh, I I was expecting some genre shifts, but not for it to well go on for much longer than it needed. Okay. I'm gonna be surprised that the developers really like these games. Come on. I think I might be better off focusing more on dodging than actually landing hits and just going like this. Okay, as we go. Miss that. Okay, we, we are also getting a lot of gold from this. I'm pretty sure we went into here with like 400 and now we have six, <laughs> we have a thousand. Okay, uh, come on. Yeah, this is really dragging now. Wait, are they actually shifting down? Yeah, now, now it's a lot more Space Invaders like. Okay, good level. Okay. Give me that. Okay, come on, this has to be the last wave for to the next boss, which I hope is the last one. Because this is nice and all, but this is going on way too long. <laughs> Scissor. So that's the mission yeah. and Tentamon Wannabe. Only got hit once there. Yeah, that, if we stick to the back here, he cannot reach us with that attack. Oops. 
Okay, we actually could hit us. Huh. And there we go. Now let that be the last one, please. It's not the last one, is it? Yep, there we go. Oh. Uh, way to go, goggles. We're getting close to the pyramid. Hey, do you... Do you know how to land this thing? Uh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously? Couldn't you say that before? Yeah, but then you never would have gotten on this thing. We must descend, and quickly. Now. Yeah, this thing doesn't really have landing gear. So we'll have to make a landing. The hard way. Yeah, this is more designed to be a missile. Well, at least we skip straight to the top. Goggles. Are you alive? Yes. Too bad. <laughs> that means I'll just have to kill you myself. Remind me to never let you take the wheel again. <laughs> okay, we have a stone to steal. At any rate, your aim was true, Solid Snail. We made it through the top of the Prophet's Pyramid, and this, and that is what counts. No, you're wrong. What counts is that we almost died, and that was way too risky. I'm not so sure. I've con I've, yeah, I have contemplated much since our paths first crossed. Everything that has happened to us, surely it cannot all be mere coincidence. One would think events have been woven together to make us to keep our players in a story beyond ourselves. As if something or someone held sway over our fate. But I thought demons didn't believe in fate. That is true. Or rather, it was... I no longer know what to think. Now I know what Goggles thinks. Goggles thinks Shiny must take. And so, oh, here, in the fabled, here is the fabled Stone of Time. Uh, you want to carry that, Menos? Awesome. Quick, let's grab it and get out of here before anyone sees us. Too late. Are you sure you want to stand there, old man? I'm pretty sure Menos could just give you a, a poke and you'd slide down the entire, <laughs> and down the entire pyramid. Uh -huh, so you have returned. You know, it's not very polite to interrupt someone when they're... This is my place. I'll talk however I want. <laughs> he does have a bit of a point there. I've waited... I have long awaited this moment. Neat, 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 neat. Each and every day... Bit by bit... Yeah, you... Gaining power... Obtaining this stone... In order to defeat you, Great Destroyer. Uh, <laughs> it's official. This guy's off his rocker. Goggles? The Great Destroyer? <laughs> it's about as likely as 2 plus 3 makes 7. Also, isn't your entire religion about worshipping and sucking up to the Great Destroyer, not destroying the Destroyer? I will have to do the math. Uh, Menos... Two, three, seven. Two times uh, uh, two times three times seven makes forty-two. Uh, the number of the greatest. <laughs> right, you're bullshitting where you're standing. You're gonna have to calm down, Prophet, sir. Yeah, man, I was just pick him up and throw him. And now he's he's going super sane or super knee. <laughs> Uh, I was joking. <laughs> I 
It's even a damn Super Saiyan aura sound. <laughs> yeah. He seems to want to face you in single combat. This will make for good training. <laughs> Just remember, Solid Snail, the trick is to defeat him before he wins. Really? Uh, sometimes I have to wonder if that collar is on too tight, Menos. <laughs> no need to thank me, I'm here to help. I'm sure you can beat him, and I'll do my best to provide backup. As a cheerleader, you mean? A fighting game mode, a rock, paper, scissors mode probably would have been less thrilling. Okay, oh. okay, I have a kick. Uh, uh, really? Of course, I added these. The most good funny games did not arrive on uh, 8 bit. They came on uh, like PS4 and uh, 16 bit and all those. Okay, I'm just mostly button mashing. Oh, yeah, you look good at fighting games. Yep. How did you have full charge of a special power? Yeah, the question is how to use because we haven't really been given any instructions. Wait, first pause. Now, there we go. Uh, let's see. Punch and kick uh, his grab. Up. Let's see. Up, up. Okay. Uh, yeah. was right. Let's see, up, up, and punch for that. Hey, we can't really grab him, and he's so much bigger than us. Okay, that... <laughs> really? Oh, rounds. Yeah, Resistance and pauses. Many funny games usually have when you pause, you can see a option to check out the combat moves. However, this one have a bit more easy to follow combat move at least. Can we even grab him? Yep, yeah, we can. Just because I'm keep trying to mash, mash the buttons for the super attacks. <laughs> okay. I hope we don't see this much more. <laughs> now I'll show me, you my true power. I'd say he's bluffing. Uh, oops, maybe I was wrong. But really? Oh no. You know what? I'm just going to slide kick, spam this jackass. Yeah, I have played on the PS1 many fighting games, but there has been no moments where the only way to progress is by cheesing. And you gotta have, even as a kid, like, you, you felt good to be finally over with an annoying boss, but remember for. Proper good, if you get what I mean. Yeah, ooh. Oh, he's, he was trying some sort of ultimate there. Uh, really? The, the Akuma pose? Like, I'm not good with fighting games, but I do know a thing, a thing or two about uh, some of them. Uh, the, <laughs> ooh, it's getting close. Oh, damn it. Oh no. 
Yeah, now you need to make sure you don't lose ones. Yeah, that, that, that is totally Akuma. <laughs> He's aping. Also, I'm pretty sure I almost got into a super move there. But I got hit you out of it. Died. Start from here. It's okay, three. that's good. Okay, we can block and dodge. This is just stupid in that move. Especially if he's just going to spam like an asshole. Are, are you going to let me attack? Also, one th reason that why I just don't like fighting games is because of the stupid movements you need to make with the stick to actually pull off some attacks. Yeah, like, in some fighting games, I mean, so terrible, they have made a better combat system. It's not as ridiculous, but in early on... So... Combat moves were sometimes wrong, but ridiculous. But I'm not talking about just the fatality moves or special finishing moves. I'm talking about some other moves that the enemy pulls up easily, but when you try to do it, you probably gonna need to spend like 10 hours practicing the bot pattern combination. There we go. Okay, let that be the end of that then. <laughs> MMA champion, you have defeated the prophet. <laughs> you truly are the best, Great Destroyer. Why do you call Solid Snail Great Destroyer? I recognized him. How could I forget it? I was but a child when the great disaster came. But it truly is him. The prophecy does not lie. He will gather the five keys. All will be covered in water. He will destroy the world. Uh, we've not been around for a few decades. <laughs> What's he saying, Goggles? You're the one who caused the great disaster? <laughs> Tell me that's not true. I've been with you the entire time since I woke up. <laughs> Miss Fina, Solid Snail has no memory. He knows nothing of his past. But then, if we return to our time, all of this uh, won't happen. Won't have happened yet. That means it's his future. It's your future as well. It depends on how you look at it. But if so, we must prevent the prophecy from being realized. You heard that, Goggles? I would not let you become the Great Destroyer. Let us take the Stone of Time and make our way to Magi uh, Idol. Okay, is this some timey wimey bullshit where uh, in our personal future we are supposed to meet him? Uh, Dame. 
We are supposed to meet the young prophet. There we go. The game got unselected again for some reason. Like, it is our... <clears throat> hmm. we'll, we'll see how things go. If not to be used to play bowling. Handle with care. Okay. Oh. Yep, I thought any golf was going to rush out there. Uh, I, I thought we were going to need to... Oh, hello. To uh, fight our ways for the pyramids. Uh, hello. You have the Zone of Time goggles. Good. I'm counting on you. We will meet again. Okay, and who are you? Not one of the previous demons we've seen. Hmm. Wait, wait. it's missing from the tower now. Yep, nice little detail. Okay, but before we yeah. go back to the aisle, we're going to go back to Bibi because we've got that mana. Yep. And I want you to look at the mana icon, then at the thing he's see, sit, sitting on. <laughs> I almost said the wrong word there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mana. Da, 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 da. Let's see. And yeah, it is the same. It's just the other way. Oh, wonderful. You dug up some mana. We'll get the awakening then. See you now. There we go. Okay, focus longer for a more powerful attack. Okay. <laughs> now, let's get out of this timeline before she gets too creepy. Okay. But yeah, I think we might have some uh, Chrono Trigger level stuff going on where we haven't met someone yet, but they have met us in their past, which is, well, in our personal future. Okay, Beardy. Yes, yes. It wasn't really needed to have all of that repeated, but I will. <clears throat> no Marco in chat so far. He's... I think he made it to pretty much every one of our Evo Land 2 streams so far. Yeah, even if he was a bit late on some, but... Apparently it shrunk in the wash. Okay, it's one of these puzzles. Let's see. We need to cover every tile without crossing over them a second time. And that's a fail, I believe. Yep. Let's see, is it the same pattern every time? Yes. Let's see then. Okay, I see the path. <clears throat> it's got to start at the top. Yeah, it's a really easy one, ain't it? And then just go all the way around. Ooh, another bowl. Uh, we don't have a second stone. Or can we just right. take... Yes, we can. Yeah, I was to say, if people we just need to move it. Okay, all of that for a staircase. I'm pretty sure Mendels could have given us a leg up. Just get up there. Then again, we wouldn't be able to pull him up. Yeah, oh. we could also just build a new stairs and all that. Yeah. Finally, he found a Magilith. See, Mendels, she didn't have to be such a pessimist. It appears to be functional. Perhaps the Stone of Time has enabled it? That's exactly what I was thinking. Anyway, that's her ticket out of here. I would not be so sure. 
What if we end up in an altogether new era? A time without mystery, devoid of poetry. A time where life consists of killing people FPS style. How do you even know that, Menos? What the heck are you on about? I'm only theorizing. It is equally possible that we will end up in my era. Or that of Miss Fina and Solid Snail. But as Miss Fina would say, I fear we have no other choice anyway. Exactly. Off we go, goggles. We won't know till we get there. And I don't want to stick around in this future. Yeah, let's try to do this without breaking it this time. Okay, we actually can. Let's do the time warp again. Okay, we're back in her era. Menos! Oh no, <laughs> you turned into a woman. Uh, Menos? That name rings a bell. Uh, where is he? So, so you're... Oh, he, he, he wasn't close enough or something? So, you're not Menos? I'm sorry, I was very startled to see you appear like that. <laughs> I haven't introduced myself. My name is... Oh, hello. Uh, okay, Velvet. Velvet. And who might you be? For that matter, how did you get here? If now we're back in the time that this was a pirate island. Enos. Goes, I'm afraid Menos is stuck in the future. Maybe because Velvet was in that very spot right at that precise moment? Could also be. Oh. Which means he wasn't able to materialize here? Or maybe he got flung oh. back further in time? The Magilith! It's deactivated. Goggle, do you think someone messed with the Stone of Time? Uh, it isn't in place in this time. That's one explanation. Who would have followed us to the island? Magilith? Stone of Time? I knew it! <laughs> You're Magi! Uh, no. No ordinary humans. We're just on a really long trip. By the way, could you tell us what year this is exactly? We're in 999. Oh no. Not for much longer, mind you. The celebration for the 50th anniversary of the Empire's victory will coincide with the new millennium. Goggles. We're finally back. I'll see my village again. But this is also the time of the great disaster. At your village. The, the 50th anniversary? But that's when the great disaster is supposed to happen. What disaster? Goggles. I know we can stop this from happening. We don't have much time. We need to find out what happened. Uh, what will happen. So it was true. I never believed it. According to the ancient texts, Magilis can be used to travel through time. And you've found the Stone of Time. I've spent my whole life looking for it. She reminds me of... I believe it was Luca from a... Uh, but from the Chrono Trigger, with the hair and the, the glasses. It's a I long haven't story. I played that game much. Now, I haven't played it myself either, but I have seen playthroughs. I really don't have time to tell you right now. If the Great Disaster comes to pass, then... I do not want that future. Let me go with you. I've studied the Magi for years. If all this has something to do with them, then you can count on my help. It could be dangerous, you know. I am no stranger to danger myself. What do you think, Goggles? Should you come with us? Uh, yeah, <laughs> we've, uh, we've already helped her re remember her name, so might as well. Thank you. Yeah, this sprite looks really like Luca here, where the way she's standing like that. All right then, let's start by getting out of here. Your timing is perfect. I'm being held captive by pirates. If, if you hadn't arrived, I don't know if I would have made it out on on my own. Uh, I feel <laughs> this a bit is getting confused. crowded. Her icon looks different from her in-game sprite for 
this product looks like she has a bare belly for her, eye, her avatar. He, and we see African faces. She's fully covered. Okay. Why was she saying? Doesn't that sound familiar, goggles? Yeah. This is the time. This is supposedly the time of uh, the Dread Pirate Roberts. Okay. What do you do for a charge attack? Oh, you, you throw freezing stuff. Okay. Now let's see. Really, someone made a sandcastle. Where did he land? I know where Mark is. Oh. He's at the birthday party thing. All right. It's the prisoner's getting away. You crammed this... Oh, damn it. You did not cram them into the sandcastle. <laughs> Yar, who dares oppose us? That would have been pretty funny if they came charging out of there. We are the fearless pirates of the bay. Claims to own a ship crumble at our feet. What's yours is ours. And vice versa. Uh, not that way, dumbass. <laughs> what you say, Wedge? You're supposed to say it and all that jazz. Yeah, I know, but I thought vice versa sounded nicer. I mean, who still says all that jazz nowadays? Bix, he's kind of got a point. Yeah, I don't much care for all that jazz either. <laughs> but nobody ever listens to me in those <laughs> these group meetings. Uh, if you don't mind, we'll just take our leave. All I ask is that you say what you <laughs> what we said to say. If we say something different every time, what's the point of these meetings? I have to agree with you there, Biggs. Right, so where were we? And all that jazz. <laughs> Freaking Ginyu first wannabes. Right, sorry, Biggs. It's water under the bridge. Not that we have a bridge here. Hey, wait. <laughs> it's not the prisoner. Motion to hold a meeting on the subject of our net move. <laughs> Motion accepted. <laughs> uh, so we've got a very democratic pirates. Yeah, they had some democracy, but not a proper one, but I feel like they developed say I just crammed it to 111. Or, wait, is that how you say 1 to 11? Uh. Oh, well, your clarification makes saying? clear what it went. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, if I recall correctly, uh, pirate captains could be elected, uh, though there were also those who, well, ruled through fear, but, yeah, one good th one thing to uh, keep certain, to make sure that captains wouldn't strike too much is, well, the fact that they've already mutinied once, they can mutiny again. Yeah. So, uh, we'll just sneak on by. Just... Yep. But damn it, <laughs> it's not going to let us get away. Alright, having heard the arguments, counter-arguments and suggestions, I've made my decision. We will attack the intruder because we are the fierce pirates of the bay. Motion accepted. Uh, Biggs? What now, Wedge? It's just that, looking at the intruder, I think I'd recognize him. Uh, what? And why wouldn't you say so earlier? It's just... If you look real close, his red hair, goggles on his forehead, none of that rings a bell for you. <laughs> it's the ghost of Pirate Roberts. <laughs> He's come back to have his revenge. <laughs> Everyone get on the ship. <laughs> bumbling morons. Well, I guess you were wrong at what time it was. Apparently, yeah. And the, the chests have nothing in them or they're locked or something. Oh, come on. That, 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 that's horrible. Like, you leave out chests that you yep. can't open? <laughs> Man carrying all this equipment is getting ridiculous. 
<laughs> oh, good God. Did you see the counter? Yeah. Would you like to set sail for one piece? Okay. Ooh. Okay, that was a good one. Let's see. Okay, we can go to deeper waters. But there is something this way. Oh, that's... <laughs> okay, is this the actual pirate island then? Can we... No. Let's see. Uh, they gotta be pretty brave to assault our lair. But I'm afraid we only accept challenges from other pirates. <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay, well, we have our goal. Sierra Harbor. Curse be the name of that pirate Roberts. Because of him and his treasure, everyone buys to become the pirate king. <laughs> With all those criminals running about, every child wants to grow up to be a pirate. Okay, and now the game goes and makes a One Piece reference for me. Wait. I think that was his name. <laughs> Oh, a very variant of that name. Uh, Actually, yeah, Pi Red Pirate I Roberts. I have the first book. I have the first book. Okay. Uh, what on earth are the Imperial Special Forces up to? They're supposed to be protecting the citizenry, uh, yet they do nothing to stand up to the pirates of the bay. All I want, and, and all I want is to get rich without my ships being boarded and pillaged. You'll have to put... Well, you could hire some protection for them. <laughs> I was still a wee lad when the pirate Roberts uh, sailed the open sea. Then were the good old days. I used to come to the beach and watch the boats, but the waves covered up all the sand bit by bit. You reckon Sierra Harbor will be completely flooded someday? Eh, yeah, not for a few more centuries, I believe. Or... I, for I forget the time we were in before. If what the year it was I, there. I think the year was Gold Roger. Okay. Pirates so uh, love challenging each other to bare knuckle brawls. I find it also brutal and barbaric, don't you? People have forgotten how to lock their doors here. Anyways. Let's go to the village. Okay, that was... actually was over the other way, I think. Or was it? And that was down here, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Can't pass through that. Wait, can't... Okay, we can't do attacks on the map like this. If we had menos that could do that, friends. we could have smashed that. Hmm, <laughs> laboratory. I think we're in a different gaming uh, age again. Hmm. Uh, this should be uh, this should be Fina's time. Year nine nine nine. Or do I need to do that celebration then? Let's see. That door uh, that door looks awfully familiar. Okay, Velvet knows that. <laughs> I should have named her Luca. Hmm. Now, we'll see if this is the correct time error or not. A time is error. Is it error or error? Uh, let's see. How do we get through? Oh, hello there. Oh, you must be the inventor. You're still here? Sid, <laughs> do you think I have time to waste? I came here for some peace and quiet. Now leave. I'm conducting very important research. Uh, of course. For the, the people who don't know, Sid is a recurring character in Final Fantasy who almost always, or always, is an engineer. So it makes sense that he is the one making the flying machine. Yeah, I, I've seen him on some oh. of the games I have. I don't have many Final Fantasy games, but I do have... One of the animes. Let's see. We guardians were discovered by the Magi. They believed they were our creators, but they merely found us. You who seeks the sacred power of wind. I see you are wide awake, but did you bring me what I asked for? Uh, 
What did you ask for? Uh, also, why do we still have a, a just an apple called gravity in here? Uh, is it, this is not it. Jaden, but you did you didn't ask. I'm pretty sure this is our per first time meeting this guy. So, yeah, I have no idea what they're talking about. Could we have even gotten here before? I guess so, since Sid was, well, pissy with us, even though I don't remember getting here before. Hmm. Unless it's one of the other timey-wimey things that we have not met them yet. Yeah. Um... Uh, I'm already getting a headache for the, but not metaphorical headache. It, maybe that's why I'm not being like I don't hate this game. Just like if, if let's say okay, as an example, if anyone were to tell me to take it between a double stream of Evil Land or double stream of Demi Diver, easily Dave the Diver every time. Yeah, it's, this game is not bad. It does have some interesting bit, but there's also some some flaws here and there that are pretty big and just some annoying things like how long the shoot 'em up section was yeah and i feel like they doing slowly started going to go into some of the tight travel truths that can get a bit a bit un much for the head let's see Welcome to Nova, have a wonderful stay. Everyone celebrating the 50th anniversary. Party sure to be unforgettable. Too bad I'm on duty. I don't think we could have gone here during this time. Peace have failed in the Empire for almost 50 years. We're going to celebrate in style. Nothing so awful <laughs> could ever happen to us now. We have no more enemies, oh. or no more enemies that you are aware of. Youngsters don't remember what the war was about. These days, they're just used as an excuse to party. And so many died for their freedom. Many humans, and even more demons. Ah, yeah. I'll never be ready for the celebration. Everything must be perfect. Oh dear. Sorry, but you can't come in here. Too bad for the kitties, but they sure earned it. Okay, what's going on in there then? All these preparations for the 50th anniversary are wearing me down. Have you seen my son around by any chance? He's been playing with his friends a lot lately. Well, so long as they're not getting into trouble. They aren't they? Don't tell anybody, but my fiance went off to join the Pirates of the Bay. I hope he comes back with lots of booty. I mean, maybe a nice scar across his cheek. That'd make him even manlier. More like a bigger idiot. Since the war ended, my dad's locked himself up and barely ever got those out. I understand how hard it must be for him, but I can only be so understanding. That's it. Soon as he's gone, I'm selling the house. Wait, isn't that the house that we can buy? I think so. Welcome to Walk Donalds. Yeah, but I'm afraid we're closed right now. My grandpa left me the rest this restaurant when he passed away. He made a killing off of it. But I'm just not happy with the quality of the food. I've sampled loads of dishes, but I can't quite find the right taste. I need to go off in search of some really epic ingredients. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hey, you guys look like fearless adventurer, adventurer types. Would you be willing to fetch the three epic ingredients I need? Uh, sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm counting on oh, you. I think you know, go find the three epic ingredients and bring them back to me. Uh, what do you think it'll be then? Mammoth meat. Actually, yeah, we have what we have that actually. Is it still fresh? I train with my sword every day. My dream is to go on an adventure someday, just like my hero. You know Velvet, don't you? She travels to the far corners of the world looking for Magi secrets. Uh, Velvet, you want to pipe up at that maybe? <laughs> Apparently not. I find that traders just don't get enough respect, you know. I'm serious, we work so hard and for what? Thankfully, we formed a council that lobbies for our interests. Maybe one day the Council of Trades will be more powerful than the Emperor. 
Yeah, there is one thing we're seeking nope. to prevent. Yeah, you gotta be too powerful. It's nice out today, isn't it? Yes. Do you... Yes? You wanna hold hands? Okay. A cute pair. Have you heard of the Prophet? Uh, no. They say he's going to destroy the world. But I don't see how that's possible. Hello there. Welcome to the Great Library of Genova. We catalog the most ancient text to be closely studied. Let's see, anything useful we can find in here then? Oh, are you interested in the history of the Empire? Did you know that after the Emperor was defeated, a staggering number of demons appeared in Demonia as if by magic? This only served to prolong the war, and many died in its wake. Okay... Wait, wasn't the Emperor victorious? The tale of Dalk in the Red makes my hair stand on end. Sure, surely he was a violent colonel, but he also sacrificed his entire army in order to kill Magus. Wasn't there a, l a less violent way to go about it? Wasn't the Magus... Magus? Wasn't he on the same side? Is there some other history that we haven't hadn't learned about? Oop, mana. I'm searching for a very special book procured by the explorer Largo during an expedition to the frozen continents. We've heard of them before. Now, I could have sworn it was around here. So can we interact with these ourselves? I, I think we're still in the wrong year. Like, we are closer, but a few yep. years off. But so something is happening. For one, apparently my batteries are dry, so we're just going to replace those. Well, I'm a bit concerned if they were not dry. I don't think you want wet batteries in a controller. There. You know I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, there, let's put these in the charger. And then I'll connect that uh, to the power at some point. Okay. I'm beginning to worry about dear Miss Velvet. I do hope she didn't encounter trouble while traveling to that pirate island. I really have more important things to do than chat with former students. I'd better not let them see me. Wait, you're you're a teacher here? Okay. Is she like an Indiana Jones? <laughs> Looks like it somewhat. <sighs> During the war you could still become a famous lieutenant, but in peacetime there are no enemies for the army to fight. Do you think anybody will attack soon? That'd be awesome, but I <laughs> I think you could find a bit more than you could chew. The palace isn't maintained as well as it used to be. I suppose it's only natural. Everyone would rather have fun or earn money than serve the Emperor. Those guards will be loyal to him to the, to the bitter end. Let's see you. Colosseum is closed. We don't have enough fighters. Fighters. Who would fight if they didn't have to? Come back later. Maybe some brave fighters will look for a challenge. Okay. Oop. Uh, okay, the, the game got unselected again there. And for some reason, Task Manager was the highest priority t thing there. What if I turn that off? Is is the Task Manager the reason that games sometimes get unselected? Hmm. Maybe. Unsure. The old jail has been abandoned for a long time. Walking by the other day, I heard some weird noises inside. Maybe it was just some rats? Those uh, kids seem to be up to no good again. How'd they manage to get the keys to the old jail? Oh, the, that's where they are. And you were going to I say? say rats depends on what kind of noise it was. Me and my friends, we belong to a secret organization. But that's all I can tell you. It's a secret. Not much of a secret now. 
The old Imperial Jail isn't in use anymore. All the demon prisoners were transferred to the mine. At least they make themselves useful there. Okay, so basically they're being used as slave labor. Let's see, my father was lieutenant in the Emperor's army, but he just doesn't get that uh, times have changed. The Emperor barely has any power now. And the army's basically an empty shell. I think I'll become a traitor. Hmm. Oh, hello. Are we good to go? Yes. Perfect. Our goal is simple. Blow everything up. Uh, yeah? All right, everyone at the ready? Operation Great Disaster is a go. Oh, he oh hello. Yes, Prophet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this... Okay, we had it right then. Or I had it right. Who are you? Do you think you can thwart the Prophet's plans? Okay, where are the least little bastards up to then? Oh, I think... Right, I think they did some multi pattern reference, but... There was a time period that some villains would love he has a laugh. Uh, okay, this guy's text has changed. He said, <coughs> so he, he, yeah. yeah, to enter their base, let's see. First, you gotta bring me the five keys that prove you're one of us. We each keep close watching our keys, so it won't be easy. Where the heck is my key? <laughs> Dang it. I must have lost it when I was playing in that mine west of Genova. <laughs> Thank you for telling that. So, wait, the, the entire prophecy was based on some kid's game? Oh, now, my granddad told me how one time some of folks escaped through the sewers. They've been sealed up since, but I still have to watch them just in case. Who knows, the pirates of the bay might feel like attacking. You think they could get in through the sewers? <laughs> Apparently we've caused the sewers to be sealed off for all of eternity. Ugh. I was playing with my key when a guard caught me. We're not really allowed to have keys. So he took it, and I'm pretty sure he stashed it away in one of the chests they have at the foot of their beds. But if we go into the guard room, they'll see me. Okay, that's where one of their keys is, then. And Wait, that was... What? Hmm? Not allowed to have keys? Yeah, for some reason. Uh, it may... Hmm? Maybe request the key? So you may want to have it, but if no one is allowed to have keys at all? Yeah, I think it's just the kids, so they don't start playing around in places they're suppo not supposed to. <clears throat> uh, point taken. It may be peacetime, but how would you like some new gear? Let's see. Okay, steel sword, steel belt, and boots. We can afford these. Yes. <clears throat> Sturdy, Why sharp, Why do you buy a steel sword when you to buy a... Uh... Oracon sword? Because I don't remember what era the guy is in. This noisemaker of a belt is not suitable for thieves or rogues. <laughs> and steel <What>? boots. <clears throat> they protect your feet, but not against blisters. Okay, then we can sell the old stuff. Wait, did I not have those equipped at all or something? <laughs> okay. That would explain a few things. Let's... Uh... Can... How can I even... Equip stuff? Or isn't it... Okay, now it's... Okay, yeah, we, we didn't have... We don't have steel armor. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it does auto-equip the best stuff. <clears throat> oh, that's good. Okay. Um, okay, and that's the end. Soon up. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Key from the children. The game would have been so much simpler with a lock-picking skill. <laughs> oh dear. That... Mm. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie, people. 
I am getting a bit. Oh, Tired of the meta. Game. Let's see. Welcome, young players. Come and learn to play the greatest game of all time. Why, well, naturally, I'm talking about the game of cards. You collect cards and clash with your friends' armies, but only one will be left standing. Really, a, a, a mixture of Yu Gi Oh! and uh, <laughs> tabletop you know, war games. That looks cool, goggles. Step up and find out more. Ah, new player enters the fold. As a welcome gift, allow me to offer you these three cards. Let's see. Scroll. Uh, would you like to know more, more about the game of cards? Uh, how do you play? Playing the game of cards is easy peasy. Just find yourself an opponent and issue a challenge. Should you defeat your adversary, you'll score a new card for your deck. The game of cards is an age-old game played by people of all ages. And you'll find players in every corner of the world. Yep. Yeah. The rules it is quite simple. Draw cards from your collection. You can throw them back to gain mana. Or play it on the board if you have enough mana. Okay, so sort of like uh, Magic the Gathering. Once on the board, they, they will hit your opponent or his cards. Get your opponent's hit points to zero to win. Would you like to know more? Uh, board game. There are three lines with two cards on each side. Cards close to your opponent can deal damage. If there is an opposing card, they will fight. If not, your opponent will be hit. When a card takes too much damage, it goes back to a draw pile. Okay, so no graveyards. Special powers. Some cards can do more than just fight. Range deals damage even if it is on the back row. Or strike deals damage first. Trample. Access damage continues on to the next target. Magic gives one mana per turn. Heal rare. Heals the card in front of it. Okay, sounds decent enough. Hmm. It's nothing but noobs out today. It's not even funny. I almost feel bad crushing them. Okay, we and we challenge with the attack button. Yes, that's my third win today. Yep, pirates. Hey, matey. Why don't you challenge me to a game of car game of cards? Being pirates, we love challenges. All right, but don't be telling no one I'm a pirate. I'm incognito. <laughs> Uh, who would ever guess that you were a pirate? Okay. Let's give this a shot. Okay, he has three bears. Or no, we have three bears. Okay. Oh, three squirrels! Uh, let's see. Okay, I see. Um, <clears throat> the, the gem, the blue gem is their cost in mana. The <clears throat> red heart is, of course, health. And, well, the orange spear is their attack. So we move this one to the middle here. They deal damage. Okay, they've got a ninja scroll who is attacks from range. Okay, uh, we got a bomber mouse. Okay, another bear and a scroll as well. Uh, let's try and get this guy down quick. Do we keep mana that we stash? Hmm. Let's go like this. Actually, I... Yeah, I, I probably I could have taken out the scroll, but oh well. Oh, a knight. That gives mana, it seems. Not that he'll survive. Okay. Hmm. Toss you... Actually, we've won already. Okay, nice and simple enough. Yeah. You're so close. There, you deserve this card. What? Blob. You're close? Hmm? You are not close at all, my good sir. A collectible star. Hello. Word is there's an ultimate game of cards champion somewhere around somewhere. And he's got the ultimate cards. Who could it be? 
Heck yeah. I want a new card and it's freaking awesome. Hey mister, how about you play me against me? Challenge me, please. I want to play the game of cards. <laughs> so it's a bit desperate. Okay, I'm guessing that is likely a side thing, or maybe it's for... Yeah, maybe getting one of the keys or something. Uh, let's see. The Here's another for all the keys. Well, my daddy's a trader, and I'm gonna grow up to bargain just like him. I'm a hard-nosed businesswoman. What? My key? Sure, it's for sale, but I don't think you're gonna afford it. It's super rare, you know? Okay, if you assist, I'll give you a discount. <laughs> Are you ready? I'll give you my key for... NG. Yeah, the very hard-nosed businesswoman, huh? Really? You're gonna buy my key for 10G? Wow, awesome, I'm rich. Here you go. Uh, that's... Uh, someone is going to make their... A lot of people have to go, oh, hello. Have you seen a boy all dressed in green? Uh, no. If I find him, he'll be sorry. He just walked into my house and started smashing on my beautiful pots, yelling, Hiya, hiya. <laughs> my servants are distraught over it. He will not get away with this, mark my words. Link. We're three sisters. <laughs> We're three sisters. We're three sisters. Okay. At least we're not Cerberus. Mm -hmm. It looks like uh, we'll yes, have to keep a... looking around. Uh, yeah, the Hell Taker. A... Yeah, Hell Taker reference. Because apparently we have about five, six fan games already. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, we are yeah. getting close to the end of the stream. So let's at least go look for that mine, then. Yeah. As I was saying, I guess we don't hate this game, but... Definitely gone on... It had given us loss, but also... Frustrations and concerns. But I am getting worried that this story gonna get... Confusing. Yeah, that is not gonna... Wait, what? Confusing. Yeah. Like... I've never seen Legacy of Cain that did it pretty well. But time travel story is not easy. I still wonder how we find my treasure so quickly. Who? Is this the... Is that supposed to be the guy from the treasure finding game or something? Yeah, I think so. But we never found the treasure, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Actually, is there a hint here as to what made where it might be hidden then? Let's have a look. Is there any of these specific... Hmm. I don't remember how it looked in the other timeline, so I... Oh, well. Uh, to the mine then. And let's see. Yeah, yeah, here the demons are being held. I don't understand why the demons don't just try to run away. I mean, that's what I would do if it were them. Must be proof that they're just animals. Uh, no, it just means that their uh, belief of fate, yeah, that has them believing that this is their fate, that they can be changed. Some say a member of the Demodian royal family survived. Do you think they will return to save us one day? With a little luck, I'll die soon in the rock slides. That's dark. I do not believe in fate. Yet I often wonder what we did to deserve this. Most of my friends have died whilst working in, while working in the mine, this mine. Only the toughest survive. I do not think we are lucky to be alive. To me, it is rather a curse. The demons captured during the war work here to bolster the Empire's wealth. It's a good thing demons live so long and are so hardy. Maybe we'll free them in another 50 years or so. Let me be, I have work to do. This looks breakable. I don't think we have bombs or anything. 
This mine is quite ancient. During the Great War, a famous blacksmith lived here. Okay, this is where that blacksmith was. They say he made the finest gear ever forged. When my suffering is too great, I think back at the times when I watched Stargaze as a child. Do you think there are other worlds out there, far from our own, where everyone is happy? When all hope is lost, nothing remains but a deep black hole. All days are alike, everything just repeats endlessly. Living and reliving the same pain is what eternal life is like. Oh, hello, there's something here. Okay, it's the key. And we can't go up there. It so simple with local picky skills. <laughs> okay. And there's a save, so we can we can call the uh, we can call it here. Yep. And yeah. Again, back to full screen modes. It doesn't look too bad. I for like that. Okay. Let's head on over here and go look for somewhere to raid then. And uh, yeah, I I don't think the game is going to make a drop in quality. Uh, or gets too confusing, hopefully. But yeah, we're we're still going to continue with it all the same. Uh, if it gets too much, oh, yeah. then I'd be willing to say to drop it. But for now, screen share change. Yeah. I don't think we got into that point where it actually becomes a painful endeavor. Just it's not too boring, but it's not too exciting either. Nor is it too painful as well. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, Spicy is uh, playing Valorant, Sour Rolvis is playing Aliens Dark Descent, Empathizer switched to Dark Souls, it seems. Karenai is streaming, is playing, uh, or is going to be playing Warhammer. Tabletop, I'm guessing, since there's no game name. Uh, Puffle is streaming Craftopia. Let's see, uh, okay, very up close <laughs> for a sudden. Uh, Cat Girl plays very sane game. Uh, what? Uh, I've heard of Craftopia, uh, but not sure it's... too much about it. I can say this. It's... The... Plays very singy, singy. Yeah, She's very sarcastic, but Craftopia is not sane. Okay. All, all I know is, is that it... it's another voxel survival game like. Uh, more of a parody of one. Okay. It's rather weird in that way. Uh, let's see. I'm Nice is streaming Final Fantasy XIV. Big V Streams is playing Stray. Or is going to be streaming because they're on the free stream. Frog Cass with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Yep. yep. That's a lot of rockets. <laughs> okay. That is, this is totally not going to go absolutely wrong the moment they hit that thing. Uh, let's see. Edrum is also playing Final Fantasy XIV. Derpy Do with Terraria. Kiri Natsuyoko is playing Clone Hero. Uh, WB, uh, WBPL is streaming. Let's see. It, it, Breath of the Wild. The and there it goes off the rails. <laughs> uh, Ruffy Raccoon is streaming Remnant from the Ashes. That had a sequel recently. I, I hadn't actually heard too much good about this game, so I'm rather surprised that it got a sequel. And what? then Horatius uh, uh, is I'm just gonna, doing I'm psychology. Things about it. Okay, may, maybe it got updated into a much better state. But yeah. Okay, any of these sound interesting to raid? Or shall I go pick some up? There's a, a lot of people today from. Uh, shall I narrow uh, it down then? Yeah, let's narrow it down. Uh, let's see. How about Frogcast with Tears in the Kingdom, Puffle with Craftopia, and uh, let's see. Don't think we've rated Derpy in a while. <clears throat> you know what? Let's, let's rate Derpy. It has been a while. Okay. I don't keep track or anything of when I've raided certain people and such. I just go by feel and everything. And it looks like they've made it to the dungeon. Okay. Copy name. Channel. Slash raid. Paste. 
And funnily enough, I actually started playing Terraria again. So <laughs> and not, I think around the same time as Derpy. Not sure if it was after or before, but yeah. A bit after. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let, uh, should, I should not have started it that. Actually, I can cancel. There we go. Slash raid and paste and not start yet. Because, well, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, chat's been pretty quiet. So, yeah, <laughs> thank you, Kier, then. You're welcome as always, my friend. And, yeah. Uh, with luck... Uh, not that it has happened too often, we'll have, uh, not, not that anything has happened too often, we'll have another stream of Dave the Diver tonight, in about uh, 2 hours and 55 minutes. Uh, might be a bit delayed because we're, <laughs> we're finishing up some leftovers from barbecue, yes, uh, no, not yesterday, but the day before that, with the, um, <clears throat> with the, uh, the, uh, the cycling event that was in the area, we held a barbecue as well. So, yeah. Mm. Oh, dear. Ugh. Okay, just needed to stretch for a second. But, uh, yeah. Uh, start to rate up for a reel this time. And, yeah. Uh, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for zombies, seagulls, and flying pumpkins.